Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Been a little bit, but hiya. So, we had finished up Seven Days to Die last time, and uh, I had a couple of things that I was thinking about doing, from Minecraft to getting a different game or something, uh, and whatnot, but I've been really into this one game as of late. Uh, it's called Lost Light. Um, it just fully released, like, I think this month at some point. It was in beta before that, but I didn't play the beta because I don't play non-released stuff anymore. Uh, except for Seven Days to Die because it's still in early access, but it's like a full fucking game, let's face it. Anyway, it's kind of like Budget Tarkov. It's a free game, completely free. Uh, there are like a bunch of pay-to-win things in it, though. Um, like, buy currency to spend it on guns and ammo and stuff like that uh but you don't have to pay for any of that stuff and, and all that good jazz so i've been playing it it's like it's like escape from tarkov you know you uh have gear you go into a, a zone map area you go around looting stuff and find keys and stuff like that to open up areas that have potentially higher value loot um, and then you can kind of like build a base that does various stuff. You can craft stuff. It, we'll go over everything inside of it here and like, uh, let's go ahead and switch on over to that, shall we? Load this baby up. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of it lately. Like, that's all I've been doing in my off time is basically playing that. And uh, I'm okay at the game. I'm not the greatest, of course. Uh, never gonna be the greatest at this stuff. Goddamn. Go ahead and hop on in here. So, when you load in, you come to this uh, screen here, and this is, I guess, how long until the, the map wipe happens, which you lose all your stuff when it occurs, I believe. Um, and it's basically like a reset. Tarkov does it too, where uh, do that anyway. Uh, I have a mail here, which is probably an auction finishing up or closing. Yep, looks like I sold some electrical components. Go ahead and get rid of those. Oh, I have a, a bit of money here. This is my total value, including all my gear and stuff like that. Anyway, different events here. Um, I think I've completed all this stuff. Yeah. There's a daily login for this stuff, which I've already gotten. And of course, there's a premium bonus. Uh, if you have a premium membership, you can get it, which is like a subscription-based thing, I think. I haven't looked too much in it, but as you can see, you can like buy various weapons and materials and stuff like that with the various stuff. There's also other events like Cast the Light, which is a thing where you can use reference codes. Also, here's all my reference codes if anyone wants to get the game and use them. Uh, that'd be great, because they can all be used, because I haven't had any of them get used yet. But yeah, you find these armbands, turn them in, you get uh, $80,000 right away. And you get a code, which can then be redeemed, and the person who redeems the code can get a lockbox, a frame, and then uh, that's basically all. I'm going to go ahead and just paste this into chat real quick here. Maybe someone uses it. Hopefully that's the... There. Anyway, this is kind of like your, your base here. You can get up and move around, do various things, interact with the, the various things here. Um, but you can also just hit uh, the tilde button to get your mouse free. Go over here and look at all your various things. So I have something crafting at the workbench here. Uh, USB flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and claim that. We're going to go back down and make another one. Oh. Also, one more thing, hold on. I have a little Word document that I use to keep track of the things that I need while I'm out scavenging. Because you can upgrade these various workbenches rooms to better. For example, this one will allow me to craft the stuff up here if I upgrade it again. So I need this stuff, and you can see I've already got some of it. Uh, yeah, so if we go back out of here and kind of go over every little thing here. So we've got ranked, which kind of just shows your rank and all that kind of stuff. 
you got the storage, the trading center, black market, and the shop. The shop is all pay to win stuff, cosmetics, stuff you have to pay real money for. We're gonna do that. The black market's kind of like an auction house. You can sell stuff on there, buy stuff on there from players. The trading center, on the other hand, is an NPC shop. It's uh, various things rotate every once in a while. So you can get various different things. Like, for example, this Mosin Nagant scope here, which actually, if we go back to my storage, like I said, I've been playing for a little while. So I have this bag full of Mosin Nagants, right? Because I love them. Uh, I have one with a scope, three without a scope. I'm going to get three of those uh, sites, I think. Well, they're not sites, but they're... Uh, they're required to put a site on it. So let's go ahead and just buy three of them. Not bad, not bad at all. And you can see you can also have like uh, shotguns. You can, you can buy some guns here, but you also have to unlock guns in this shop. So if you were to go out in the field and scal uh, salvage one of these, like you pick one of these up randomly, like, like a drop or uh, from killing a player or something like that. I'm not sure if killing a player, if you pick that up, you can sell it. Or return it in here but anyway you bring it back successfully then you can turn it in here so you can actually buy it in uh, game currency so if you're out of guns you can buy one here i don't remember unlocking the vector that one might actually be unlocked by default then you got consumables here such as med kits uh, medical supplies food and water which you have to use or else your energy will be tanky you have various mods for like four grips and sights and all that all the various ammo types for all the various guns. If I go here, you can see I have uh, things you have to unlock. You also have this stuff, which does five armor penetration. Also very specific mods. Also containers, which are very great. Um, speaking of containers, actually, I think I should get this. I didn't realize I was that close to uh, getting that one. But also, if I save up a little more, I can get this one. I think I'm going to save up and get this one. So the secure cases are basically uh, places that you can... Well, I'll explain it. Also throwables and armor. You can basic like tier 1, tier 2 armor, all the way up to tier 4, tier 5, and tier 6, if you turn it in on the match. That's one aspect of the training center. The other aspect is the hidden smuggling, which has a uh, limited time run of stuff, so I can get like a tier 5 helmet here if I want. It's also premium exclusive stuff you can get there. And then the last one over here is all... Bounty store stuff, which if you're playing, or if you do your dailies and get like the, the stuff for this, you can get these. So, uh, yeah, really the only thing here that I would want would be uh, the arms box, because I could use that to store stuff in my uh, storage. So anyway, that's the trading center. From there, you have a crafting table, medical module, an intelligence module, this workbench area. It's all about crafting stuff and dismantling stuff with parts. Uh, in the living area, you have the map, which kind of tells you where you're going to go. Four different maps you can choose from. And then you have the radio, which I have not done anything with at all, to be honest. There's the safety system, which basically is the level of your hideout, essentially. And as you can see, I have everything ready. I just need storage to be level 9, and I can upgrade it again. Uh, so that's the thing. And then down here, there's the health center, which is place where you go to like heal yourself if you die or uh, to fill your hunger and food and stuff like that. And the fitness room is like outfits, essentially, kind of useless. Then you got the mobilization section over here. You got uh, the arsenal, which stores weapons and armor and stuff like that, um, which is kind of just a, another tab of the storage box here. You can see I have some guns filling in here um, over in the storage and all that. And then if we go back, we have uh, the weapon table, which is where you modify your weapons and all that good jazz. You got the shooting range, which I actually did not realize I unlocked. But I'll go ahead and make that there. So cool. So I need a multi-tool. Perhaps I already got multi-tools down to collect. So that's great. All right. And then you have the weapon rack, which I'm not sure what exactly... Oh, I can. I think I can just store weapons here. Kind of like extra storage, like extra extra storage, but they can be displayed on the wall, which means that they can uh, 
dome. Yeah. In your right here, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's kind of the, the basic interface of all this jazz. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and just paint that and make another one. And the reason I'm making flash drives is if we go to the intelligence module, the uh, next time that I level this baby up, I can use a graphics card and three flash drives to get a graphics card and intelligence, which I can then use to um, use five intelligence and five graphics cards to get a crypto token, which I can use to basically sell for half a million uh, and some other stuff. But uh, I would need five other graphics cards, which I'm not sure exactly how to get. Is it under crafting and miscellaneous items? Yeah. Do I need RAM, uh, coolers, and then six CPUs, which uh, I can make by using soldering irons and cell phones, which uh, I can make soldering irons using multi-tools and glue guns. And glue guns can be made using insulated wire and blow torches. And uh, you can just find the rest of that stuff everywhere else out in the field. So, <coughs> yeah, that's about it. That's the long and short of everything. Um, yeah, but we also have a, a bounty store here. Well, not really a bounty store. It's um, it is a daily quest and kind of a weekly quest thing. The weekly quests are all done. I got those done real quick. Uh, my dailies. Um, do I have any that I can turn in? Nope, don't have any SMGs to turn in there. So it wants me to place two signal jammers on the roof of the villa, Mount Akiyama, which means I need to look out for signal jammers if I wanted to do that. Uh, kill marauders at pharmaceutical company in teams, which means I would need to find someone, and then killing fireflies or marauder players, which are players who are using the marauder kit. Um, those. Okay, well, it's kind of hard for me to hunt players because I feel like I never run into them unless I'm not prepared to run into them. So that's going to be like just a luck thing. But anyway, if you can complete these, you get some experience and you get this uh, firefly stash, which gives you, if you dismantle it, random item and some crap components. So anyway, what I need right now is I am trying to get my workbench leveled up. But in order to get the workbench leveled up, I need the safety system to be level 3. But in order to get the safety system to level 3, I need to get storage to level 9, which means what I need right now are toolboxes, charging cables, and scrap. Toolboxes can be made using hammers, wrenches, and these metal pliers. Metal pliers and the hammers can be made pretty simple. Metal scissors can be used making broken knives and wire, whereas the hammers can be made simply using scrap parts. So it's not too much of a process to get those. Um, the charging cable, on the other hand, I can make using pliers, utility knives, and insulated wires. So we have a, a lot of stuff to collect. I've basically written everything down, like I said, over on this little Word document I got. We're gonna go out and we're gonna search around for that kind of stuff. So, I think what we'll do is let me first of all open up my storage. Do I have a BAF factory key here? I'm also carrying uh, this SG12 shotgun because it's a very simple one, very simple gun. I don't really want to go out there with a whole lot and then lose it. So you can ensure your gear here, and what this does is if you die, uh, it will get you your gear back if no one takes it. So if a player comes across my body, kills me and takes my stuff, I will not get it back. But if they do not take it, it'll come back in 20 to 40 minutes via email, right? Or via the in-game mail, not email. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and move out. This will put us in an instance 
and we just kind of gotta wait for it to find us a, a little match here. It'll find like I think the BAF Center Factory has six, eight players. No, it's not eight. It's like four to six. It's a pretty small map. Something that we'll uh, see there. But I'm not bringing a whole lot with me. Like I said, I'm really only bringing the shotgun, 50 rounds for it, which are uh, three armor penetration. They're not the greatest, but it's the best like shotgun shells I can get right now. Unless I want to buy them from uh, players. Oh, here we go. All right, so we can see we have five other players who are here. We'll hit ready, and then we'll be thrown into a random area of the map. Well, I guess it's not necessarily too random, because I've been spawning in the same places over and over. Anyways, you can see the ranks of the people here. This is the lowest rank, then there's mouse, and there's hair. So, I'm a hair. And, uh, I don't know. I played a couple of ranked matches. Which are basically the same thing as normal, except you can't play BAF Factory in ranked. So anyway, we spawned here. We're going to go ahead and grab everything we can. It's kind of nearby. Um, so also, in these matches, that guy, NPC. We'll just take him out real quick. And then you can kill him, and then loot his stuff here. I'm not going to take much from him. I'm going to take that flash grenade, so I have one down there. Next up, we're going to go ahead and start looting shelves, because they have a lot of scrap and other stuff here. Go ahead and grab that. Grab that. It's a good way to get scrap pretty quickly in these here. Go ahead and crouch down. I'm going to throw these into my uh, secure case here, just for now. I might find some better stuff to put in there later. But right now, that's all I'm going to do. So, keep going. Go ahead and open this chest. Take that. All right, keep moving. So one thing to note is you kind of saw like a, an orange thing that showed up around up at the above there. That means there's a gunshot coming from that direction. You'll also see like white movie lines, kind of like what you're seeing right in the middle, kind of center of the screen there, down there. Uh, that's kind of your stealth meter. Right now I'm pretty stealthy because I'm not moving. See, that's gunfire over there. It says it's coming from the unloading area, which is right over here. So we are kind of heading into that area. That's a flare. You can tell because he has an armband on him. I'm going to wait right here because he's a grenade. Kind of just keep an eye on what's going on. Not many people should come back this way because of the, uh, the fact there's nothing back here. Just no. So if we keep an eye out here... They killed something, but then they didn't go... Oh. I think someone's running above me. They're going into the office area there. Okay. If that's the case, I think I'm gonna go ahead... People in there. Let's, let's skedaddle to the other side of the map. I'm not looking to get into conflict with an enemy, especially since they are seeming to be really open about being hostile here. A little bit of basic fuel. Fine, I'll take that. Grab that, I don't really need it, but... Kill him! Someone's coming. The enemy, I think, is right on the other side of this wall. Yeah, he's right there, you can see him. Look at his dumb face. NPC, though. I'll go ahead and go over here. Easy. I'm going to pick up anything from him because they don't have very much good stuff. 
gonna check these rooms real quick. My armband is red, which means there's an enemy nearby. Like, within range for it to light up. Take one of these spare med kits just in case. Someone's then in the tail. Kill him! Go down here. Tape measure, even though I don't really need it. Let's go into this area. Uh, how many people come down here for some reason? This little section of the map? I don't know why. Because it has some decent loot in it. Especially if you need fuel, you can come down here and pretty much get whatever. I've got an armband core. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and put it there. Just because it's technically worth 80,000 uh, credits. Sometimes there's some scrap there. Also, there's a arms box down here. And open this up. Sometimes you'll find some uh, armor repair stuff there. We're gonna grab that. Someone's coming. All right. Also, player characters won't talk. So the fact that you can hear that means that there's their NPCs who are talking there. Take all that. Next, we're gonna move down here. Movement above. Okay. Probably a player, judging from the fact that it's moving around so randomly. I just didn't want that key. So. Roger. All clear. Over. Oh, I guess that's a player. Or uh, not player. Uh, NPC. Okay. Move this way. Another crate right here that I would like to get. Nothing too special there. I'm gonna grab this magazine and then grab the foregrip too, why not? Once we're here. Her tail. Kill him. And then we have this ammo box here. Which we don't want anything out of. Those extraction points you need to reach to get out of the map and go home. And depending on the player, they kind of vary. For me, it's over here, but if I were to spot on this side of the map, it'd be like raw materials area over here. I don't know there's someone over here now. Let's open this door, take a look around. I'm not seeing anyone. Too obvious. Oh. That guy. Yep, he went down. I'm gonna go into here. Because there's a firefly crate here, which sometimes has some good loot. Sometimes not. In this case, not. We're gonna go back here real quick. Past these engine turbine thingies. I'm gonna open up this. Got nothing. We're gonna wait for that NPC to get closer and then pop. Came out. Took a little bit of damage there, you can see. But I'm gonna just heal that real quick, like. That guy's up there. I don't really have a gun to take him out. I'm gonna go ahead and hide back here real quick. Wait for him to turn his back. This guy, I'm gonna take this M5 now since uh, I don't have a second secondary gun. I do. Okay, let's kill this guy. Heal up real quick. Premium lighter. I think I needed one of those. Let's go ahead and drop the. Uh, Tape measure. Grab that. Let's get out of here. This is the extraction point. You get here, and you have to wait like 12 seconds roughly to get out. Which means people could come in and kill you, uh, and then leave your stuff quick. But usually you can get away if you get here. Anyway, that's the basic gist. Lost light. Now things can be more intense or less intense. Kind of depends. That was a pretty lame trip, to be honest, I got to say, you know, sometimes it happens. So you can sell stuff after the mission uh, right away. And what penetration does this have? Just one? Yeah, I'm going to sell this bullet. All right, and then 
toss that screwdriver there. Sell this. Sell that. Uh, where was I storing my fuel in here, right? There. Oh, an alcohol I'll just sell. That there, put that there. I can throw this stuff in a bag. flash grenade and we'll sell that as well. I'm just gonna sell this nylon plate. Um, put that in there and throw that in there. And then where did that magazine go? There it is. Where the sell this too. Cool, cool. Alright, back to the shelter. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, inventory maintenance. Okay. First of all, I, I bought some things for the most of these, but I never put them on. So let's go ahead and put these on. And I can also put this scope I have on it, which will give us a nice little sniper rifle. Then we can go to the next one. Modify, receiver, equip. And then on to the last one. Modify, receiver, equip. Perfect. Don't have scopes for those two though, unfortunately. How it is sometimes. Let me go ahead and throw one of these there. There, perfect. As you can see, I have a collection of sniper rifles. Uh, fun times. Anyway, we successfully got away uh, in that one. But we didn't really get any high value loot. Fortunately. Uh, we did, however, I guess get this thing past the line, which means we can go ahead and exchange it. We can get this code. And then we can go ahead and just do this. Not that anyone's going to retrieve it, because apparently you can only do it once. Uh, you can only retrieve or activate one code, which means like each player is trying to get like 10. But like very few have done it. I think I, the one I activated was from a player, so he got one. But okay. anyway, let's see what we want to do next. So. As you can see, I sorted everything out. So we got various things done here. Go do the crafting module quick. So I could craft a hammer. I can craft a screwdriver or some pliers. Can't really craft anything that I really need right now. Yeah. I'm just gonna craft another flash drive. And after you craft one, it kind of sorts stuff better, which is nice. Um, you know, let's make some pliers. Even though they're really easy to get, uh, I just like to do that. All right, so that was one run. Let's do one more. And this screen pops up because I'm a little bit hungry and thirsty, as you can see. So we'll go ahead and spend like 10 grand to uh, heal that. <laughs> All right. We'll load it again, and maybe let's be a little more aggressive this time. Go to where the the better loot is at. We can get a lot of loot. Seven, but I just can't use it for that. I don't know. This one's gonna be a smaller one because uh, there's only four players, including myself, and I'm the highest rank, which doesn't mean anything really. Because if you don't play ranked, then I mean your rank doesn't go up. 
it's whatever. Also, as soon as I played ranked, things started getting a lot harder, so... I don't know if you want to play ranked, to be honest. Alright, we just got a really nice item there. That uh, golden diamond ring is worth 100,000, so we've already paid for this adventure uh, quite easily. We got a can of peaches, we'll go ahead and take that. Someone's on our tail. We're just gonna run over here, Someone's kill this guy. Okay, let's kill him. And I'm gonna take his nuts. Funny thing to say. Uh, let's reload real quick. And then we will heal. Let's go over here. But it's another guy over here. Let's go into this place first. Check this storage case. An old photo. Don't care about that. There's this coat. No keys. Sometimes coats can have keys in them, so. Oh, shit. That came from that window on the right there. Uh, so let's be careful about that. Let's go over here so we can't hit us. We're going to go right up into here. All right. Get back around here. Then... Fire coming from the uh, other side of the map. There's someone in there. And then there's someone around the corner on the right, I think. Oopsie. Yep. All right. Um, don't need any of that. But you, sir. Okay, almost got me. Okay. Luckily, that was not a player. That would have been really bad. Um, I will take this gun and the electric shaver because those are sometimes daily quests. Ooh, an antibody container. I'll take that. Hell yeah. I'll show you what that's for here a little bit later. Portable fitness bag here. Ooh, I did need some wires, so we'll take those. Alright, so now this room has some pretty good loot. Uh, mainly because of these cases here. Computer cases. I'm just going to go ahead and take everything from them. There's also a locked door there and there, but I don't have the keys to get into those. Search all of this stuff. You should have some good loot here. Extinguisher. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna go up to the third floor here. So this door, this room is really good loot, but everyone knows about it. So you gotta be careful looting up here because you know people are gonna come here. I'm gonna grab that, and actually I think that's most in the round, so I'll take those for later. More plastic fuel and splint kit. Don't want any of that right now. I'll take that. Okay, your ammo case here. Need that stuff. Take that scrap metal though. That's a director's key card. Okay. Let's leave here. Also a crate in this hallway. Yeah, it's such a normal shotgun. Doesn't matter. And here's where this key comes in handy that I've been carrying around. We have a red dot sight here. SR barrel. Not sure why that's taking up so much room, but go ahead and ta let's go ahead and eat these peaches and I can take that. But apparently I need that for a quest or something. There's a magazine. We're pretty full on loot right now. So, we'll probably want to head out. I can't open this because I need a key for it, but that's fine. So our extraction's over on this side of the map now, you can see. <coughs> we'll need to make a run over there. Uh, actually, real quick, my armor is pretty bad condition. It's down to 30 out of 100. Go ahead and repair it with this stuff. Repairing it will cause the stuff to go down a little bit. That's fine. Someone's moving. I'm not sure if they're outside or like this side of the wall. Or even a different floor. Not here.
Yep. Next one hit three. Go. Okay. My helmet take a lot of a beating there, but that's okay. Take a second. There too. I have a regular frag grenade, yeah. I should take him out. Yep. The other guy was here somewhere. That's a player right there. Luckily, they don't seem to have very good armor, so... I think they jumped down. Right there. Oh fuck, there's two of them underneath. Okay. Get the hell out of here. This guy sent a team up for request. I accepted. I'm gonna go over to him. Watch out. Ambush. That way we can uh, close by each other. Cause there were two other people there all working together. So uh, we can stick together. I'm gonna grab this other frag grenade here. What's up, bro? I'm gonna see about following him around. That might uh, save us. He, he seems to have a better backpack than I do. <laughs> a little bit. What's this guy doing? Where are we going, man? There's water there, I'll take that. <laughs> that guy's extracting, you can kind of see it gives away his position. Okay, got him down. One player taken care of. And they went right ahead and surrendered. Uh, they could have been way down the ground there for a little bit, but... Managed to get him, too. My helmet is now toast, though. Um, I'm gonna take his helmet. Let's take his dog tag. Oh, damn. Uh, go ahead and replace that. I'll take that fucking... Gun he had. Is there anything worth grabbing here? I like it. Okay. Well then. Come up. Okay. Doesn't matter how the guy's moving, he's a player. Alright, time's running out. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Let's come to this. 
get here, crouch down right here, and uh, get going. So it was pretty lucky that we managed to get that guy on our team, uh, which was just crazy. Uh, the fact that that allowed us to do that. So we can see our salvaged amount here. We got a pretty good amount thanks to that gun that we got. Um, I'm gonna leave this team up because it was kind of an impromptu team and I don't want to it. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this ammunition in my storage case here. And then let's go ahead and sell the dog tags, sell the banknotes. All that good jazz. Put this down here. Fire. Here. Actually, look at that. Put in this bag. Here we go. I'll do the same with the uh, flash drives I've been hoarding here. sort this. Anything that's just a random single bullet that's not like going here. This one? I don't know. I'll just toss it here. Screw it. Alright. Nuts can go there. That can go there. Wrap I can throw there. And grenade will just go ahead and sell. Okay. Go ahead and take this out. Let's go to this page. I need to put this magazine right there. Take this gun, put it there. All right, and it's shelter. So we got some decent stuff that time around. Pretty decent. I don't know why I'm looking like this though. Anyway, I can claim a reward here because we brought back this SR-15 barrel. I'm going to claim that. And then we can also get this quest to get a uh, AC-416. Whatever that is. And Abigail also has a new quest to place an M70 at the Ark Company Lighthouse. Why would I do this? That is an expensive gun and we're just leaving it behind there? I'll, I'll accept the quest, but I'm not going to take it or do it. Just ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, let's go to the crafting table. We'll take this stuff. Also check if there's anything else I can make right now. I could make some insulated wire. Um, hmm. Let's see. What I really need right now is toolboxes. I need wrenches. Wrenches, man. I can't believe wrenches are what's, like, pulling me down here. Uh, let's see. What else was here? Can I make these, or... Yeah, I can make these. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna make more metal scissors, I think. That'll work. And then, um... I guess let's make a hammer. I think I can make anything else. Yeah, I think... Okay, we'll make that stuff for right now, uh, but also if I go into storage, I should be able to turn this stuff in so that I can purchase it later. There we go. Fortunately, I can't turn in the... rifle I got there. Can I do anything here? No. Okay, that's fine. This. Microscope. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that item before. It must be hella rare. Alright, hammer finished. Uh, we'll just make another one. Okay. Well, let's look at my equipment here. Still looks pretty good. My armor is definitely taking a beating from all this moving around. Also, I can go ahead and use my uh, vial here to fill this up a little more, which uh, it, it gives you some stuff. We have 69 days to fill this up. We're only... We're not even 10% of the way there. So... 
If you don't collect enough, the entire shelter will be destroyed. No fire person. Why? I get that that's the, like, reset. But does that mean that if we get enough, the reset will not happen? Is that what that means? It seems weird that that's what it would mean, yeah? Well, let's make another metal scissor. Those are kind of hard to come by. Okay. Nothing else I want to make right now. Anything? Could make a charging cable, but I feel like it's not. Well, I guess it is kind of important to do now, since I do need it for the storage. But we'll do that, and then I'll have that when it's ready. Okay. Really, I need wrenches. And only really decent place I'm going to get those from. Why am I a marauder? I don't know why it switched me for some reason. Alright. We're going to go ahead and go with this. Make sure the helmet, because why not? And put me in teams, because I had it. But we're going to do this. And then move on. Okay. <clears throat> so we have four other enemies to deal with here. Potential enemies, I guess. And one of them is Cobra, which I'm not sure what rank is. I don't think it's just above me. Uh, I think it's actually quite higher than me. Anyway, we're going to go down here first. Someone's on our tail. Kill him! They should be above me, so I don't have to worry about them. All right. Stapler, shed key, don't want any of that. We'll look at this ammo box here, though. Nope. Okay, I'm lucky. Up here, we have this eight. Here we go, we got a wrench. I'm going to put it in my safe box. Let's run back down here. Then we can go to this box over here. Which is a DR mag. I'll take it. I'm not going to use it, really, but I'll take it. I'll just forget about this box here for some reason. Blowtorch, I'll take it. I'm going to stick to the underground where people don't really come too much. Also, that door leads to a locked door, so that's why I never go up there. I'm going to grab that extra med kit. Wrap, open that door, close that door. Fit in this bag is what I want to open. Another plate, perfect. This baby up. Holy shit, I got a moss in here. God damn. Go ahead and just take all that. We got a piece of armor here. Speaking of armor, I'm gonna go ahead and repair my armor. Just because it is a little bit broken here. While we have a chance while we're not in the middle of a firefight. Okay. Perfect. Um, honestly, I think I'm just going to discard that. Same with the clip there. That's not important. Do that. Okay. Oh, cool. Now then, moving on. I'm hide down so I can the door. Wait, did I kill him? How did I kill him? What? What happened? No way. No way I killed this guy. What? That was pure luck. I just want to point that out. Um, anyway, I can take his gun now. Jesus. That was like a mix of me catching him off guard. And... Yeah. Man. Can see how that worked. Does this Molson have any ammo in it? Got five rounds. Okay, perfect. That'll be enough for a little bit. Okay. Dead. This guy's just above me, I think. There's an area that I can't see him at, so I'm gonna ignore him. This guy's stuff. Nope, nothing there. We got three spaces open. Actually... Go ahead and throw that med kit away and take this one. I'll just put that there, which will give me a bunch more slots open. Perfect. I think that's a normal syringe. 
up here. I need that. Grab that. I need that for my medical upgrades. There's a locked medical chest here, by the way. Um, so I'm gonna run this way. Down this hall. Because there is a chest up here. Also, I didn't realize this right away. Uh, in order to get up on top of things, you have to like jump and then hit space again in order to pick that up. How's my armor look? Okay. Not bad. Okay. Death has definitely occurred around here. Look at that smoke grenade. That's really close. Holy shit. Let's switch back to the motion real quick. Level 4 penetrating rounds. Okay. If they're in the medical stores, they might be coming through here pretty soon. Running over that way, which means they might be going around like I did. If I can do this right, I might be able to get a kill here if they're doing what I think they're doing. I can get a good headshot here. That'd be nice. Also, this door to the right opens. Uh, I'm not screwed. Throwing that out there. Horse. Yeah, kill me. Yep. Uh, so I died there, but that's all right. I wasn't carrying anything too useful, and we got a wrench, so it's nice. Honestly, that gun that I had was just a throwaway gun anyway. That, that's shocked that I was carrying. That is. So he's not going to get too much. He, he's going to get a Mosin if he wants it, and then maybe that gun in my bag. But other than that. Nothing he gets is going to be too amazing off me, so he might even not take anything from me. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. But yeah, that's just kind of what happens. So, you win some, you lose some. And this time, I, I lost some. But take this wrench, throw it in here, take the syringe, and I'm going to go ahead and mark... Ooh, that's actually all the syringes I needed! Nice. So now if we go... To our health center. I can submit the syringe. And now I just need disinfectant swabs and beakers <coughs> to level that up. And let's go ahead and uh, quick heal here. There we go. All right. Now we have to regear. Um, but I think at this point, maybe we go to a different location. Insufficient capacity. And that's maxed out now. Um, let's start throwing stuff into this bag then. Grab this bag. Um, uh, I'll need some health kits. Actually, hold on. That has some open slots in it now. Might as well use my actual storage box for that, huh? And then let's go ahead and still... Let's just sell this, I think. But why is that one in there? That shouldn't be in there. Uh, let's store this lighter in this one. There we go. Alright. I'm never going to use the PP-19, so let's go ahead and sell that. And sell that. Do I have anything else that's hiding around that I'm, like, not actually needing? all this stuff in here. So magnificent. Is it not? Anyway, moving on. Alright, so let's dismantle this first things first. See what loot we get from here. And we got a broken knife. Okay. That's a thing. Alright. Well, that'll come in handy when we need to auto-sort it, please. Thank you. There we go. 
We need to make another thing. Actually, speaking of, I think I can just do it now, right? Cleanies. I need more wire. Okay. That's fair. That is fair. Okay, so let's finish rekitting. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. If I have some extra armor in this chest, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And let's grab that one. And then I've been having some pretty good luck with my sniper rifles. So let's go ahead and take out this bad boy. Then need to get some ammunition for it, which is right here. Four penetration, perfect. Take all of that. Go, all right. So we don't need too many rounds for this because uh, it's either two shots to the chest and they're dead or a headshot and they're dead. Uh, as long as they're not wearing like high tier armor. We should be pretty good. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and just spend all this wrap on the uh, base there. All right, perfect. And we got this key card from Mount Akiyama. Then we can use it here in a moment. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and ensure everything. I'm kind of hesitant about like ensuring my guns because if it's a good gun, people are gonna take it. If it's just like a normal Mosin, they might not take it. I would because I'm crazy and I love the motion. Otherwise, man. But Map Akiyama, it's a lot bigger. So you have a lot more space. And I'm versing a bunch of good boys. Jesus Christ. Is that Wolf Rank? Is that top top one Wolf Rank? Anyway, we're next to this area. Also, running with a uh, sniper rifle takes up a lot of stamina and it makes you a little bit slower, I think. Why is this box empty? What do you mean? What? Was this stuff looted already? <laughs> it can't be. Okay, so if we look here, I can see some movement down here. It's actually a rainy day, so we could actually just set up on one of the cliff sides here and sort of just watch as things happen. we could kill some people, but that ain't my style right now. Because I'm streaming, I figure why why take the, the quiet path when we could go loud and burst, right? All right, so no one's in the sniper tower. Sometimes you'll see the NPCs up there. Uh, there's echoes of gunfire in the villa. Not great. Not ideal. I did say faint. Maybe I can get where I'm going and get out of the villa before I get hit. I don't know. We'll see. Box there, I think, so someone's going that way. There's one room we want to hit up here. See if uh, it works or does not work. Go ahead and use the heal quick. Open this door, get in here. There we go. Take this stuff so I can possibly sell it later. There's something in this crate that I need. What is it? Field medical kit, I think, is what it was. Okay. If I can get out, I can get that with me. Be nice. Okay, so here's where I have a key card for this door right here. Get in here. Open this stuff up. There's a gun case right here. Hopefully, it's a gun I can use, or no, it's just parts. Okay, well. You lose some. Okay, so we got some stuff. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna eat some peaches while we're in this door. We need to get out of here because there's definitely someone else in the villa right now. Um, I'm gonna grab this, put that in there. Grab that too, just because they're a little bit higher value things. And then I think we're gonna go south to here and then we're gonna go along the road. 
for now. So let's get the hell out of here. Get my pistol out so I can run a little quicker. I'm gonna head right towards that weapon symbol on the map. Hopefully get to it without any uh, sort of issue. I'm gonna stop by this little power station. If I didn't have a sniper, I'd actually go further into the villa. But with a sniper, I'm not too good at close range, so... Especially if I'm taking hits while, you know, trying to aim. I'll throw my aim off and get me nervous so my aim's even worse. And we should be alright. Okay. Go ahead and grab this. Also, higher ranking people just seem to be me. Okay, let's take him out. Just an NPC, not a player, but... I need to let him live. It's another NPC. I'm not going to worry about it. i going to take his stuff here quick and then we're going to leave. Alright. Oh wait, actually first, we're doing that. Firefly stash here. And one of the only places I found those antibody things is in, is in the Firefly bundle. up, huh? Grab that, grab the flyers, go the way to the lens, grab the rubber hose. Oh, the rubber hose takes two. Do that then. Okay. The fuck, you piece of shit. Let me just back up here real quick. Jesus Christ. That was a, a poor see what see what I mean about the fact that I can't aim up close. GG. Take him out quick. This guy didn't have like anything good, but uh, Jesus Christ. Oh! I'm not gonna kill you, bro. Why'd you shoot me then? I, I don't get it. You saved my life. Thanks. <laughs> Why shoot me, dude? Oops. Why did you shoot me? <clears throat> Never mind. I don't know why he fucking. That works. Yep. Okay. I'm not talking to him, by the way. I don't have my mic open, so. Like, whatever. But. Go and eat a peach. Okay. Drop that ammunition, it sucks. Don't know what was with that guy, but, uh. Okay. Did you think I was like an NPC or something? Go ahead and take him out. I'd be rather nice of the guy to not kill me. And he obviously had the chance to do so. We'll have the entrance post, which is over that way. Get that guy out. 
got on you? Action. Okay, what we got here? Electronic watch. Uh, let's grab that. I'm doing that. Keyboard. Blah. My hands. I think that guy's trying to leave. So that might be why he shot me first, because he didn't want to like lose his stuff, which makes sense. What the hell is that? That's going. Yeah, my teammate's leaving. Okay, so that's what he was doing. He, he killed me so he could get out. Understandable. Because I personally would not want to uh, risk a, passing by a player just so that I could maybe not die or something. I'm going to grab these uh, first aid bandages that are shitty. If I have one. In case I need to use them. But we're going to extract here. I think we've pressed our luck a little bit. With uh, surviving that encounter with that guy. We're going to just try to get out of here. Uh, without anything happening. Really wasn't expecting to get shot in the head like that. The guy just domed me, man. Honestly impressive. That's just a NPC up there. He respawns. We're gonna go to this mountain back way here. Because we know someone's at the... Uh, oh, engine's both over there. Never mind. But still, this one's closer. We're just gonna get out of here. Not gonna make a big deal out of it. NPCs. Okay, let's just get out of here. We do have to spend 20,000 to get out this way, but I think it's worth it to not have to go all that distance and possibly die. That's nice. Get out of here, ass cheek bandit. Wow. That, uh, I did that guy so dirty. Oh my god. I thought it was an NPC. Uh, I did not realize that. <laughs> That's actually hilarious to me. Probably not to that guy. He's probably really upset. He, uh, he might have just been trying to extract two and just been waiting for me to leave. But uh, I, I ain't taking that risk, my man. Not today. All right, what else can I put in here? I think this I can just sell. I gotta turn that in. I'm gonna just sell the fuel. These are okay bullets. Go ahead and sell this AKN. Sell this frag grenade. Lens <laughs> is used for crafting. I don't know what it's for though. Let's go ahead and blow up this bag. Yep. Is the uh, Azure used? It's a mission item. Okay. Go ahead and sell it then. If it was crafting, I'd keep it, but not. Outer Bank's also crafting. Okay, cool, 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 cool! Alright, back to the shelter. Ugh. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Kinda how things go. Alright, return this field med kit to Abigail. Some fuel and such there, not bad. All we have to turn in, though. Then we have this uh, helmet that I dropped. At one point, if we can get back because of insurance. So, I'm not sure if that's the one of the helmets that we just exchanged, or if that's one of the helmets that we uh, lost in battle. Honestly, hard to tell. I guess there is a way to tell, but look at it. Whatever. Anyway. So we're going to do that, and then let's just double check all of our stuff here, because I'm pretty sure I can turn all this in. Hell yes. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. All right. Yeah, this helmet got thrashed. I think that's, I think that's why I got rid of it. 
I exchanged it and stuff. Anyway, we have plenty of these armor plates to uh, repair stuff. So, let's see. It doesn't really matter what armor plate I use. It still takes down the durability and stuff. So let's go ahead and use this on the armor. Easy peasy. And this one we'll go ahead and use on the helmet. Max that out. And then if I just switch these around real quick. Go ahead and use this also on the helmet. There we go. This is a tier four, yeah. Okay. Those. Alright. Now let's take this medkit off and sell that to them. And then we will take out this medkit, I suppose. Right, and the charging cables can go over there too. Oh, so this grip I already had. Go ahead and sell it. Okay. And then I'll put the helmet in here so I can put it into this. Also, I can put this into there. There we go. We have some room. Nice. Okay. Let's go back. Let's move out one more time here. Yeah, so we'll do Akiyama again. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Pause. I think we'll do something else. That wasn't bad, but... Do I have ammo for this gun? Let's see. I do! Ooh! Will it be enough, though? Wait, what? Not the same ammo. That is low. Okay. Four. Okay. Um, ma, 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 ma. I think we're gonna go to the Ark Company. I'm gonna try to find a team. Harbor, Switch Harbor, Windswept Harbor, okay. Let's change to Arc Company. Let's try to find a duo partner here. Well, it's not telling me I can't go with this amount of ammunition. Usually I want you to have like 150 or something. L2A2, huh? Can I get that from Eddie's shop? L2A2, L2A2. Nope. Can't get it. I don't uh, know. I don't know how to use it yet. That's a shame. How much bullet pen does this give me? Actually, three? Okay. What about this? Also three? And this stuff? None? Oh my god. What the hell? Why do I have this? Get rid of it. This stuff's the best, but it's also hella expensive. So, no way in hell I'm going to be able to do anything with that. That one was five. Ooh. Okay, um... That's... Does not stack. Oh, it does stack. Oh, cool. Underground plans are okay. So M855. Let's see if I can find some M855. Not that expensive. Okay, let's grab. I don't know, 50 rounds. Go. Storage. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just exchange that real quick. 
grab that as well. That way we have a hundred rounds. That way we have a you know a couple of clips we can use. I guess three extra clips. So hopefully it works in our favor. What we're trying to do here is kill marauders in teams. That is what we're looking to do. Which uh, marauders are just the, the normal NPC ones. We don't have too much to worry about uh, if we can get a hold of that. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Just take a little bit of time, but see what happens. It does take a little while longer to find a dual partner, not only because you need to find your partner, but also because you need to, you know, find the players who are going to play with you. I can just sit around and that for a bit here. See if we can do it at all. Who's to say? <clears throat> Maybe. Let's double check our kit while we're here. Plenty of room here. We got a couple of key cards for this area. So we have the computer room and we have an underground lab card. Sold the rest of them because they were less than useful. I'm gonna rearrange that stuff quick. It was kind of annoying me. Auto sort, please. Label. I'm gonna do that. Oh, that means okay. I guess if you want to label your uh, things, you can, huh? Also, this is also a secure case. Um, hold on to this one because my current secure case expires uh, in four hours here. I got it from a daily reward or something like that. So we're just gonna need to hold on to that. One day I'll find a match, one day. What's going on in the, uh, the messages here? Orca your dog water. I had four people team up on me in solos. Run solos and just meant six people teaming. BAF. Fuck the suck. Damn. Avoid arc and duos. Normally there's two teams teaming up before the match. Oh. Number one rank on rank. What? On rescue rankings? Bro, that means. He has a 6.6 .6 KD? Dude. How? How are you that rank with a 6.6? It is the... I got a 4.7. An escape rate of 80% almost. How? Let me look at that again. What was your escape rate? 50%. He's definitely paid money to uh, get that skin. Notice that. It's a good skin, though. Look at that butt. Weird. Like, he played 300 matches. My 66. I think he has a little more experience than me, but. Jeez Louise, how do you only have a 6 KD? 
Like, the only way I could think is, like... God. But yeah, like, the people of the higher ranks are just animals who will, like, just go out for blood. Terrifying. Related knives in BM for cheap. Let's see what their definition of cheap is. Really did not. 53. Yeah, not that cheap, to be honest. Imagine spending that much for a utility knife in real life. Absolutely crazy. Still looking for a teammate. Third time tonight, I died headshotted through a. What was that? At? Through a wall. Marauder loadouts are so bad. Of course they are. They're supposed to be bad. No, you're the one who does not know how to take advantage of your equipment. Right. No pack, no armor. SKA. Perfect. Why are some nerds that play as Marauders dumb as F? I get killed more by a Marauder. Feel a shoot. Oh no, that's so fucking bad loadout. The SKA is not that bad. You'll just be like complaining, huh? Let's look at the shop. Oh, that's not a bad piece of gear. God damn, how much is that? 680? How much would that be if I wanted to get it? I don't know how much that means. Oh. Um, I could spend 10 bucks. I get that. It is pretty cool, but it's not like I'm gonna spend ten bucks. Kind of cool. Kind of weird. What other outfits does he got? Imagine buying that when you could buy this. Or imagine buying this when you could buy this. And I guess it is like way more expensive, but still. I wasn't really ready for that background change all of a sudden. Kind of like a ninja vibe to it. Sort of. I actually have this because I got it for free. But uh yeah, it looks dumb, so I Wait, you can buy individual pants and shirts? Does that mean you can get like this and then put like these pants on it? But yeah, weapon skins. Ooh, Molson. minutes in like I guess we'll give it till 15 if we haven't found a match after that <clears throat> I might just go solo Mount key on him. Jeez. Hmm. 
Will. We can't do that. I guess we can go try to play ranked. I'll wait until 13, to be honest. I'm growing impatient here. Going back to solo, and we're gonna go to uh, Linsmouth Harbor, I think. We'll give that a try. Redo our kit, though. <clears throat> will that fit in here? I think it will. Yeah. Alright. Throw this. Take this bad boy back out. Um, go. Uh, okay. We're gonna pop these keys back here. Grab these keys myself. Let's go. I think we should be able to find some stuff here. There's also a hospital here, so we could. Oh my god, there's 12 fucking players. Alright, there's so many players! Nani? I bet they're all gonna be high rank too. Just watch. Nope, okay. They're all my rank or lower, except for the Ram, who's a little bit higher. Didn't I say we were gonna play ranked? <laughs> Whoopsie! We'll do that next. If we survive. If we survive. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So we are currently in the container yard, which I don't know where any good loot is at, which is not great. Um, there's that box there, though. So we have a garage. We can track the key, so it's over there. It's quite a little far away. We have this one, which is over there. And we have this one, which is over there. So regardless, it looks like I want to go up north uh, for all that. Let's go ahead and search this one first. Maybe we can find some good loot. By good loot, I mean nothing, apparently. So. Okay. Um, I'm going to go up this way, though, real quick. Or right, I need markers. So I think this one here was there, yeah. I do need to kill something or get a different gun before we go into like closer quarters though. Go ahead and close that. Alright, let's loot this. Also, those of you uh wanting to know a little secret area. Well, I say secret area, but not last. There's a firefly bundle back here. It also has nothing in it. Yeah. Come back up here. And we'll just go right back down here. Look at this toolbox. Wrench. Oh, yeah. Let's put that in my safekeeping area. Okay. I think that's everything here that I can remember or that I've seen before. There's a little bit of fuel here, is that right? Okay. All right, so let's try heading up to the, uh, I want to say hospital, but at the same time, I feel like a bunch of people are going to go to the hospital. So it might not be wise to do that. I think there's a stash up here, to be honest. Yep. Remembered correctly, hell yeah. Another wrench! Heck yeah! Love to see it. Okay, let's get on these train tracks here. I think there's some people who spawn marauders who spawn in that is down here. Kind of use this as cover. Okay, let's go. Stick along the wall here until we get a little closer to the hospital. Fireflies entered the op. Don't know exactly what that means. Oh crap, killer. Hey 
Get out of here. Didn't have much loot on him, but that's okay. I'll take your MP5 for right now. Also, give me your uh, med kit. I might need that later. Reload this. What a... Uh, one penetration. Oh my god. Nice. Here. Him. Where am I getting shot from? Is it right there? There? Yep, up there. Yep. Alright, let's go search this other guy I killed. That's two of twelve down. Oh, oh man. Sorry, man. Hello, can you read me? I believe. So that guy, he just used a respawn to get back into the game. Which is not nice of him to do. He also can see me for a little bit, which is not right. up here now, huh? Although there is a free kit, which basically starts you off with a pistol. I don't know if that's what he's going to start out with. Okay, let's drop the MP5. I'm going to grab this gun. Um, go ahead and drop the cotton balls. Grab this armor plate. I'm going to use the armor plate to repair my helmet real quick. Let's open this up next. What we get? We got an AK. 103, okay. Not the greatest ever. Let's eat a little bit here while we're in this nice little bunker. They're the same ammo, aren't they? Why can't I combine them? I unequip these and then kind of move them over here. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it made me do that, but whatever. How many rounds is this going to have in it? 42. Okay, that's not ideal. There was ammo. Was there ammo in this? Yeah, but nothing I can use. Okay. I think for now we're going to try to get out. I really don't want to deal with this guy hunting me. Trying to get his loot back. Oh. I'm gonna try to evac over here. NPC. I wanted to get him gone so he doesn't shoot at me. Crouch down here, reload and regenerate our stamina a little bit. Can I jump over that wall? No, I cannot. I think I have a gap there, though, that I can get through. Like it? Let's move. Have a guy up there. Yep. I'm out. Move. Let's check this Firefly bundle real quick. Hammer, peaches, I'll eat the peaches real quick. One. <clears throat> Alright, moving on. Oh, I think I saw a guy right back there. Did 
Did I not? Was that just my imagination that I saw someone right there? Everything that I can carry. We are extracting now. So we might get away. Oh, that's a player. Threw a grenade at me. Might have been the guy who I killed trying to follow after me. Regardless, we managed to get some good loot. So all in all, not too bad. Not too shabby. Got a little extra. I think this is also a sniper rifle as well. So, it's even better for us. Excellent. I mean, definitely is a sniper rifle since I was using the same ammunition as my uh, VR there. Also, this guy's uh, gun that I took from him, I'm just gonna vendor it. Bye bye! <coughs> Honestly, that's such a big thing. I looted his body and I just. Throw it away. Let's get rid of these uh, bad rounds and these med kits that I don't need. Alright, so I think that should be enough wrenches to allow us to continue onwards. Stash that there. Those are just to sell, huh? What about this? Used in crafting. Okay, hold on to that. Also used in crafting, I'll hold on to that then. We got the smoke grenade, which we'll sell here. Alright, back to the shelter. <sighs> nice. Okay. That wasn't bad. Not great, but... Works. Okay. Head into the storage one more time here. That's all good, that's all good. All right, let's go ahead. And we'll use this to repair my armor, because it was definitely taking a beating. I like how we made out with more of the uh, bullets than we came in with. You always love to see that. Okay, let's head into ranked mode. And uh, next. Heal up. Load into ranked. Function is under maintenance. We should get rid of uh, our factory. Can I do this? Is ranked down? Can I not play ranked? Fine. I'll just go back to the Windswept Harbor on normal end. Wait, did maintenance actually start now? Uh oh. I guess it's, uh, I guess we're done. Fortunate. Servers down. Yep. Well, shoot. That's unfortunate. I guess we're done then. Also, I don't like how they have a uh, the, the the leave button grayed out and the. No, I'm gonna keep playing there. Well, <clears throat> that was less than ideal. I guess. Um, I guess that's it for Lost Light, everyone. Bye. Do that.